How's it going everyone? Psychopath here and today we're doing a first impressions video of V-Rise and this is going to be 30 minutes, a bit of editing, but 30 minutes of footage of the game starting it out, kind of getting a good feel for the game, seeing how the game works out. There are three things I want to establish today. I want to have full crafted gear. I want to have a base built up so I can actually survive the day. And then the final, final thing that I really, really want to do for myself is I want to at least be getting towards enhancing my uh, my characters. So we're going to do randomized things. I'm going to do five randoms, and whatever it lands on for the appearance, that's going to be my idea. So one, God, that's creepy. Two, three, four, five. Okay, you know what? Not bad. Looks like a Saiyan prince, but we'll take it. And just because I already said Saiyan anyways, uh, where is that? There we go, nice little Super Saiyan. And we're going to do yellow for the eye color. Perfect. And the name will be Remus. Let's do it. Oh, so first off, right off the bat, the graphics are stunning. Like, look at all this stuff. Oh, how does Remus look? I want to see Remus. Remus is beautiful. You, sir, are terrifyingly amazing. So we gotta collect bones, the first thing we gotta do, because here's the cool thing about this game, by the way. To the side over here, there's a whole quest tab that you can follow, and the quests will actually help you establish like what you should be doing in the game, where you should be advancing. We got bones, we got stone. I'm probably not gonna get much else in here. I, I'm gonna risk going outside. So, I mean, you're a vampire, daylight is, you know, a bitch, but I'm pretty sure for the opening area I can go outside and I can actually have a good time in the sun. Yeah, because there's no sunlight here. You're totally covered. The day is passing by decently quickly. And we can focus on getting that bone that we need. There we go. Oh, so you're not hitting me. Oh, you hit me. Okay. I was way too over cocky. Let's the vampire blast you. Buddy. Buddy, it's easy. There we go. We need five more bone. I have one more bone. Oh, there we go. The bones. Okay. So we can claim that. We need to craft a bone sword. The crafting is pretty straightforward. Just going to go ahead and craft that. And that's going to be automatically equipped. Now, we have no blood. The second that this blood pool runs out, we start losing health. But I have a sword that actually swings, which is perfect. What do we have inside this crypt? I'm going to take you and you and you. May as well start gathering all the items that I can gather at the start, you know? And you can zoom in and zoom out. I just want a closer look at the character. And that is way better damage I put than before. Buddy. We have to slay three enemies. Are there any rats around here? There's a rat. Ooh, what happened there? There's a rat right here that we can gather. Alright, that's you. I gotta kill. Ooh, sir, you're not hitting me. There we go, I'm gonna get the bone, I got the rat. Cause the rat will give us more blood, so we can go ahead and we can... We're about to get hit here. That's the sun. Oh, this is dumb, this is a dumb move. I should not have tried going into the light. I'm just trying to survive as best as I can. It is just another hour of daylight. This is either gonna go Really well or really poorly. I can. I always forget that I can move the mouse arrow. That should take care of him. We can claim that and we can create that bone ring, which we're going to do right now. Bone ring gives us bonus power to our spells, which is going to help us out later on. And that rat, the second I can get another rat, that's what I need. Got the bone ring, hit two enemies with Shadow Bolt. I already got that, so I can claim that. We'll seal another rat. May as well. So here's the part where we have to start venturing out a little bit. Like I can go ahead and I can craft the breastplate and I just need another 30 bone, which will do slaughtering all these guys. Come on, buddy. Here we go. We got the, yeah, look at that. Look at that. We got our first, we got our first bone vest, which looks horrifying, but we have the bone that we need. 
All that bone. Can I do the the vet the bone leggings? Yes, yeah, so we need animal hide. Now that the day is almost done, we're gonna start venturing out of this place. We gotta get out of here as fast as possible. I'm gonna kill more of these guys because more bones will definitely help out. Especially for the early crafting. Come on, buddy. It's you down. We just have so much in the way of bone that we can craft the rest. Alright, let's let's get out of here. Let's get into the wilds. Because now that it's nighttime, we have to establish things like instantly and immediately. So for one, there are enemies there which we're not going to bother with. We gotta. We need wolves. I need deer. I need some kind of animal that I can fight. So I'm keeping my eyes out. There we go. We got a wolf. And he's a creature five too, which is perfect. So one important thing you should know about this game is. Oh, hang on. First off, we can feed on him, and the feeding will give us his creature type, which is three percent creature, which means we're gonna get a, a bonus movement speed. So we actually move faster, we get oh, bonus hide, we get all that stuff. Can I craft anything yet? I can do... let's do the leg guards right now. And then we'll find another wolf that we can steal that other bit of fur. We gotta, uh, This game is 100%, by the way, about exploring and adventuring and seeing what you can actually find. Now we have another, like... oh, here we got a wolf. Perfect. Oh, let me hit him. I'm going to feed on him because he has a better creature percentage. The better percentage you have of blood quality, the better your skills are. So we got all that, which means that we can now craft the gloves, which we'll need. Those gloves will be on soon enough. We'll have that established, which we can then do bone axes. We'll claim that, which we should now be able to create the bone axe. We need more creatures. We need to keep moving. We got to keep going. This is this is only gonna hurt me if I stick around in the area. So I got the bone axe. I got to cut down trees. Oh, that uh, that hit hard. So all this that plus essence that you're seeing, what that what that blood essence does is it lets you actually craft items for your uh, lair. Which we'll get into layers, I'm hoping. I said, I wanted to craft all the items, so we got the first thing taken care of in those first impressions. I gotta say, the controls are smooth. I enjoy the controls a lot. So we're gonna clear more of that. We have one more tree to cut down with the bone axe. And that's gonna give us probably two, three hundred lumber. So we got that. How much lumber do I have? I have two hundred. Gonna claim that. Can I make a bone mace? No, I need a... Come here, buddy. Ah, you suck. Come here, buddy. Come on. I'm going to hunt you down if I have to. There we go. Way better creature percentage. So we can actually heal better. We got that. And we got that animal hide and that bone. Can I make the bone mace yet? No, I need more bone. Mm, that's unfortunate. See, that's the thing. If the creatures come to you, it's way easier. But otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Come on now. You need to be killing creatures. You gotta be killing enemies. You gotta keep up with that kind of stuff. Otherwise, it will come to bite you. Now, if we can just find, like, a wolf or, I don't know, a bear. Amazing. We really need a mace to start cr crushing all these bones. I'm gonna keep myself going this way. Maybe we find something in here. Maybe we don't. Oh, hey! There we go. Come on, buddy. Give me your bone. Give me your bone. There we go. Animal hide. That has no bone. That's not helpful. We need to find some skeletons then. Here's the problem, right? You're going to have to at some point do way more adventuring to see if you can find animal there we go we got a couple wolves right there we can fight the wolves the wolves will really help us out here for hopefully getting some bones don't we really want to fight a whole wolf pack 
But if we have to, we will. Here we go. Got bones. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got bones. We can create the bone axe. And we're going to fight you. Oh, dude almost hit me there. There we go. Got paper. I got a tainted heart. Okay, we need to craft the mace. There we go. Bone mace. Craft that. Oh, we got a little. Hi, bub. That is a creature 81%. We are taking that because that will give us. Oh, beautiful. And we'll hide. Amazing. So we got the bone mace. We got smash rocks. These guys right here, real easy. I mean, you can see the damage itself is pretty straightforward. And as long as you know what you're doing, it isn't super difficult to play this. That's that. That's going to be you. It's really, it's really a matter of it being straightforward. Now, we're getting the lumber slowly but surely. We need one more stone right here. That's copper right, right over here. That's copper. But we can't access the copper because this stone mace isn't strong enough yet. We can claim that from the castle heart. How do I build a cat? I have enough blood essence and I have not just enough stone. What we're going to do, we still have a bit of time today. We're going to go up here and we're going to destroy everything in sight here. And we're going to make our base right in here. And once our base is established... Will be set for the first day. Real easy, real straightforward. Come on now. That's easy to destroy. Let's go ahead and put the castle heart. Yeah, you know what? We can put the castle heart right here, and then we're going to go ahead and put our zones. Perfect. And the castle heart, we are going to go ahead and put that there, which it does that. So I have an hour and 52 minutes of blood available. Uh, place the palisades. Five palisades. We're going to do one, two, three, four. Five. And we got a place of wood coffin. We need more lumber. Let's go ahead and get more lumber. So that's the thing. This, this game was a really cool survival game. I've been really enjoying it personally because the amount of stuff that you can craft, like actually start building a vampire castle, is really something special. We got that. How much lumber do I have? Not enough for that yet. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the crafting of this game is insane. Oh, we got a wolf right there coming in. The wolves won't attack us when we're in our coffin. But I could definitely use some more blood essence. There we go. We got six essence. Let's see if we can't finally build ourselves a coffin. There we go. Got a coffin. And I need more lumber for a wooden stash, of course. That's cool. We'll just craft, take the crap out of here then. I'm trying to, like, angle it so I can start chopping away at both lumbers as much as humanly possible. There we go. That should give me enough for the chest, which is perfect. And we can claim basic crafting. Amazing. In terms of crafting, I already have that gear, which is good. I have the boots. We have everything. We have everything equipped here. Everything that we need. I don't need the spear. So construct and interact with a sawmill. I'm going to for sure need more wood. So let's just go around here and start taking care of that. So we've already established two things on our base. We've already established. And it's only been 14 minutes of gameplay since I started recording. So for the first 14 minutes, I've gone ahead and I've already become 
Uh, I already have a base established. I mean, not really established, established, but the foundation is there for the base. I'm trying to make the most that I can right now of gathering as many resources as possible. Because the more of these resources I can gather now, the better I can build later on. So there we go. Very much nice and easy. There we go. Come on. Easy does it. No idea what those things are, but we're going to gather them. Oh! No, we're not. No, the hell we're not. Uh-uh. Oh. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. We're not going to go. That was a trap. That was clearly a trap, and I fell for it. I don't feel smart. Don't feel smart at all for that. We're going to keep gathering these. I still have another hour. God, you are going to destroy. These are really easy sources of stone, which will be great for later on. So we're going to need a simple workbench. I'm going to increase my gear a bit. Level. Now that we're back in here, what can we build for palisade walls? I can do five more walls. I also need a sawmill, and I need at some point a workbench. So first we need the sawmill. Let's go ahead and place you right there. And then for the castle, for the fundamentals, don't have enough for anything else. Cool. So we are running out of time for right now. I'm going to go ahead and plot that in there for a bit more time. Running out of time right now because it's about to become sunlight, which means I got to hop in here, which means we're going to go to sleep in the coffin for the day. And then when the sun itself does set, I'll be back for some more of the recording. I'm not going to have you guys sit around for some time. Okay, so it is the second day and a bear came in to attack my camp because I got out of my uh, area way too early. So we're going to go ahead and beat this dude because uh, that was unexpected. So we got hearts, we got that, we got animal hide. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Um, We need to make some logs. So the first thing we're going to have to do is start cutting down trees. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm telling you guys, this game has been a ton of fun. And like, we're nearing the end of the 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of start giving my review. I think something very early, at first impressions at least. I think something very important to keep in mind for this game is it is early access, but like, oh my god, is it ever actually a lot of fun? I mean, one, daytime is only seven hours, so that isn't horrible. I'm not going to that trap again. I made that mistake before. There's another freaking bear here. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's going to sleep. Okay. We're going to leave the bear alone. I have a moose. So I've told all kinds of wildlife here. So we can go ahead and we can start crafting items here for the sawmill. Uh, we can just put that in there and that will start creating wood. Uh, we're going to add more of that to there. So we have more. Uh, oh, that's what I'm looking for. So we have more. Uh, blood essence. I need way more lumber because we got to start actually building up this base a little bit more. I need more walls so that bears don't just randomly walk into my freaking base because that was kind of rough. So we need to construct a simple work branch and we have to increase my gear level by crafting stronger equipment. So I have enough bones that I can increase my sword at least, which will will definitely deal with that. Come on, you can do it. There we go. We can start gathering the rest of this stuff here. I mean, may as well start destroying the rest of the walls, getting whatever we can, right? All those plant fibers, by the way, are partial for building up the palisade walls. But yes, like I was saying, this game is actually a lot of fun. I mean, it's definitely not what I would expect from a crafting game, for sure. Or a survival game, rather, for that matter. The moose in there. I'm not going to fight the moose. The moose is going to go away. But I should be able to do some more palisade walls. 
that will stop me from being invaded by animals. We need more wood. Well, we're just kind of getting this all going while that's all going. We can chop down a bunch of trees right here, which is perfect. This game has honestly been 100% worth it. It's, you know, first off, I bought it on sale for 20 bucks. I think it's like 25 bucks Canadian. So, for the price that you're getting, it's just so well worth it. And even though it's an early access, like, I'm still thoroughly enjoying this. I actually have another world where I've got about seven or eight hours in on this. Like, I'm just doing this review because I wanted to make a review for it. Because, like, holy crap, is it ever a game worth reviewing? Alright, we should be able to close off our walls. Any other plant material around here? I have that much plant resources. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to build a gate right here. Put that there. Put this here. And then we have the palisade gate. So we're actually completely closed off now. So I did what I wanted to do within my first like playthrough which of the, of the actual review, which was, you know, kind of just making sure that everything worked out. We'll take the planks. Because I believe now with that wooden plank, I can go ahead and for production, I can build that simple workbench. We can rotate it to be looking good. Also, the, 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 the spawning in stuff looks really good. So we can do a blood rose ring, which we're going to do and craft a much better ring for my character. Because he definitely deserves a better ring. And we have to increase the gear level. So if I wanted to do a reinforced sword, I need four more planks. So we'll have the planks momentarily. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and, in and increase that chest. Because yeah, we can just go ahead and do all of these and put them in a queue. Because they should be able to all be done here. And then we can just put back on my pants and my clothing. And now I have increased gear level. Yeah, this game, honestly, I'm telling you, I've been thoroughly enjoying it since I started playing it a little while ago. And honestly, well worth it, well worth the price. Thank you guys so much for checking out the uh, the first impressions. It's been an absolute blast. Before I end this video off, I just want to go ahead and reinforce my bone sword. Because I may as well do that. The hell was that? There's fighting going on out there. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Are they attacking the wood? Okay, well, anyways. We're going to go to sleep. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Subscribe if you haven't already.